French Prime Minister sounds climate crisis alarm as orange-like wildfire range. The French Prime Minister has said France must fight more than ever against climate breakdown, but also learn to adapt to it. As she met authorities battling a huge wildfire that continued to burn through southwestern pine forest and has forced the evacuation of more than ten thousand people. As more than 1,000 firefighters battled the rampant Landeras fire south of Bordeaux, with hundreds of reinforcements expected, Isabel Borna said, "We must continue more than ever to fight against climate breakdown." She added that from September she would oversee a form of environmental planning to ensure friends adapt to new climate situation as well as planting new forest. Local authorities said the massive blaze, which rained on Tuesday, had destroyed more than six thousand eight hundred hectares of woodlands in the Gionde areas and the neighboring lands. Gionde has already seen about fifteen thousand hectares of pine forest destroyed in July before the same fire sparked up again this week and tore through woodland. Firefighter likened the blaze. To an entity with a life of its own, it's a orge. It's a monster. Gregory Aloni from the French firefighter body FNSPF told the RTL radio. Authorities warn of an explosion, cocktails of weather condition with wind and the tinderbox dryness helping fan the flames. Conditions are particularly difficult. The vegetation and soil are exceptionally dry. The local prefect office said in a statement, warning that extreme dry heat was likely until at least Sunday. There's a very serious risk of new outbreaks. Temperatures in the region could top 40 degrees Celsius on Thursday. Weather forecaster predicted. Overnight, the darkened sky had glowed orange above the burning forest. Leaving local resident to face another anxiety-wracked night as the fire advanced. You think we're in California? It's gigantic, and they are used to forest fire here. But we are being overwhelmed on all sides. Nobody could have expected this. Remy Lahey, a firefighter deployed near Houston's in the Londes de Gascogne Natural Park, told agents France Press. Firefighters said they had managed to save the village in Belen Baylet, which was transformed into a ghost village after police told residents to evacuate as the flame approached. We battled all night to stop the fire from spreading, notably to defend the village of Belen Baylet. I'd nod Mendus of the Gironde Fire and Rescue Service said. In nearby Houston, Alison Flayoid and her father stay in their home, their bags packed in case they needed to make a hasty departure. There's still a lot of smoke, but for now it's not coming this way. Philo told Reuters after watching many of her neighbors leaving their homes overnight. That's it for today. Thank you and goodbye.